Candace, I see you walk in, and the first thing I notice are your accessories. So are you an accessory girl? Okay, so I'm really glad that you noticed this, because in my preparation for Miss America, we practice talent, we work out, we do interview work, and one of the things I felt like I lacked in, like I felt really consistent in, as a competitor, but I just never accessorized my outfits. And so I told myself, for Miss America, every outfit is going to come with accessories. So I put note cards of every single outfit and drew out what exactly my accessories look like, put them in my jewelry box and labeled them for each day and whatever event that I was using for. So I'm really glad that you noticed because usually I'm not an accessories queen, but this week I definitely went above and beyond to make sure that, you know, I was upholding what Miss America stood for. Okay, so I love accessories, if you can't tell. I'm always <laughs> wearing accessories. So is this something that you think you're going to add into your routine now? Yeah, I do because I love it. It's fun because you can incorporate so many different styles and it adds to your wardrobe. You can dress it up or just dress it down. Okay, what do you have on right here? Show me. How did you learn how to stack bracelets, by the way? Because it's, it's an art to stacking bracelets well. Well, I originally wasn't going to stack them. And I this one I got a long time ago, and I really love studs. And my directors actually don't like studs, and they think they're kind of punkish, but I have a really edgy personality. Um, a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, you're so small. And I'm like, but I have a really big personality, I promise. And um, I just thought that this edgy bracelet would look good with kind of a classier bracelet and just tie in um, all of it. <laughs> I think you're so smart because when it comes to accessorizing, it's all about what we call juxtaposition. <laughs> so you've got a little bit of spicy with the sweet and classic. Yes, absolutely. Love it. It's awesome. What is your one beauty secret for women at home? Like a beauty tip that they can learn that's different from everybody else. You know, I really, as I struggled with acne when I was a teenager, and then as I got older, I started to really embrace and taking care of my skin, and washing your face as much as we don't like to do it at night when we come home after work or whatnot, just washing your face before you go to bed and making sure that you have clean pillows goes a long way. Before they compete for the crown, see what this year's Miss America contestant said behind the scenes. All this week, the LiveWell Network catches each one revealing beauty tricks and personal secrets you won't see in the competition. We found some winners. Rebecca Spira hosts Miss America Secrets Reveal. All new every night beginning Monday, January 7th, only on the LiveWell Network. Check your local listings or click Choose Your City to find the LiveWell Network in your area.